practical application, most gunfights start hands-on before they go to the gun. So this reactionary gap where we live at, this becomes the issue, is you're not gonna have a clean workspace. We might not have two hands. We might have to stop with a, a shock entry, a push, something to create space in order to get this thing out. And we can extend it in space, not right off the bat. We have to keep this thing low and in control. We don't want him to grab it and yank us. I mean, you see how big and athletic dudes are these days. They grab a hold of you and pull that pistol. Most of us aren't strong enough to fight it back and we end up getting this push-pull match. It's not gonna get better with time. So we have to be able to end this thing. And if this thing is coming out of the holster, out of or under a t-shirt or whatever else time is of the essence and we have to make this thing happen so from the retention aspect create a little bit of space nothing crazy the moment we get this thing out we have to retrieve this hand because it's part of our body and we will start to drop it off center line and the issue becomes this he starts to pull you down as it rolls over remember it's clear and safe guys we don't have to be weird so nothing in there but if my hand starts here and I break retention, I pull it down, we can see how fast this hand starts to drop off our center line. The last thing we wanna do is shoot ourselves, and now we're in this engagement. So we have to be mindful of where this thing goes. What I tell guys, if I imagine there's a laser beam coming out of this thing, and now we imagine that this is my line, I feel I have a pretty firm purchase. When I lock this thing down in my arm, I feel like I'm connected to it. I know that this thing is articulating up, and I can, for the most part, I know where it's pointing. So I know the difference between pretty flat and up into where the high thoracic neckline, that's way too high, I don't need to do that. But if you look at the anchor points where I'm going, when I break retention, I'm coming here fast and I'm not extending it. If I could bring this thing out here, I would because I don't want him to be able to uh, grab it. So the moment I get here, I'm trying to bring this thing on the line as fast as possible and I'm trying to find an anchor point.